Hello everyone, welcome back to another commentary video. I'm your host Carlos Gabriel Pinero and in this commentary video I will be talking about EDP 445, America's most infamous cupcake man. And so a few days ago people have discovered that EDP 445 was on TikTok recently and then lots of people including commentary channels and news channels on YouTube hopped on to the story and we all thought that it was real but then a few days ago I heard a comment by someone saying and claiming that EDP was not ever on TikTok at all which confused me at first because I was on the impression that EMDP 445 was on TikTok I seen on Twitter it was actually EDPs now I don't have a screenshot of this, but I'm gonna still explain this. And then everyone in the commentary with uh, underneath the sun, like Opti, Mudaha, Charlie, etc., made videos on their channels. But then I look onto one of Papagat's videos, which he uploaded their own video about the, the TikTok EDP TikTok fiasco. And once I watched their pre perspective on EDP and the TikTok account. I realized I might be an idiot. Keyword, might. Not only might I be an idiot, but everyone who made a video like me might be an idiot too. There's a reason why I'm saying might and we'll get to that in a second. It turns out that there's evidence to suggest that this TikTok account might not actually be belong to EDP445. This account might have been created by someone else and was just re-uploading EDP content. I was first made aware of the EDP TikTok fiasco by the Stato article, which is where I normally found a lot of video top of my video topics. And you know, I was skeptical at first because obviously somebody could easily fake an EDP four four five account and re-upload a lot of their older content onto TikTok. The original piece of evidence that I gave away that gave this way to be EDP's official TikTok account was the fact that the content that was uploaded to the TikTok was pretty new. There were videos by EDP four four five, and he was talking about him, um, and he was talking about uh, the Super Bowl, and the Super Bowl happened not even a week ago. So him. Uh, making content about the Super Bowl and having those videos um, uploaded to TikTok, make everyone making about videos about the EDP 445 TikTok account, assuming that it was 100% really to EDP 445. But it turns out that EDP has an Instagram, and according to Papa Gut, his uh, theory is that someone, I guess, screen recorded his Instagram videos from EDP's personal account and re-uploaded them to this TikTok account. Now, not a lot of us put us that idea together because we all assumed that EDP was still terminated on every front of the internet. But I guess he's still on Instagram for un some unreal reason. And the reason why Papa God thinks that someone re screen recorded the videos from his Instagram and re uploaded them to his TikTok is because of the quality of the videos on his Instagram account differ from the quality of the videos on the TikTok account. There's also isn't really any TikTok exclusive content on his account, on this TikTok account. It's all just reports, reposts of stuff from EDP's actual Instagram. Now granted EDP could be working on exclusive new content for this TikTok if it is owned by him and also for, and also and for now, he's just reporting his, posting his Instagram content. Papa God also explains that EDP is trying to ignore the controversy surrounding him. So him making videos calling out Optimus or Mudaha would be very out of character considering he's been trying his hardest to ignore all the hate surrounding him. Which definitely makes sense to me because the biggest piece of evidence against this being EDP's TikTok is a video that was uploaded which was essentially EDP in quotes shouting out to his cousin saying that he plans on starting a TikTok and to go follow him on and the other two and the only two other accounts that the EDP account follows is the Philadelphia Eagles 
and his su supposed cousin Pierre. Papa God is suggesting that this guy Pierre made the EDP account and is using it to bring traffic to his personal account. Also, there's zero mention of EDP's Instagram ID on EDP's TikTok normally. If you go on, mo on your mobile TikTok, you can link your Instagram or other social media accounts to your TikTok profile for people to check out and follow in the bio. He has his Instagram username but no link to his account. So maybe EDP just doesn't know how to link his account or perhaps the Pierre person rumored to be running this account forgot to do it or maybe there was never an intention of doing that in the first place. However, after Papa got put out in his video to calling out the EDP TikTok account, the EDP TikTok account posted the video shouting out EDP's actual Instagram page and even changed the bio from the main Instagram to follow the Instagram and even deleted the shout out to Pierre video. Maybe if this account is fake, the person behind it is trying to cover the tracks because they heard about the propaganda exposing video or maybe it is EDP and he's deleted the Pierre shout out video to protect his cousin because Pierre's account is currently being bombarded with EDP haters and also maybe he realizes that his Instagram is small in size compared to his TikTok following and he wants it to take advantage of the growth and build up his platform in there. Now the reason why in the beginning of this beginning of the video I said I might be a video and why I never flat out stated throughout this entire video that the EDP fiasco is figuring out is because there's evidence on both sides that, is, that there's no flat out answer or indicator that just says like hey this account is real hey, or hey this account is fake it's really just all speculation at this point and the only way for us to truly know the answer is if EDP makes an original video on uh, his TikTok stating that it is him or if he goes on his Instagram it says that the, the account is or isn't his or if this Pierre guy makes a video on the, the TikTok admitting that it was him. My current opinion on the moment regarding the EDP TikTok account is that it might be actually fake, be fake at the same time. EDP was never really about quality. Maybe it is his account or and maybe uh, that actually is his cousin at the end of the day. I'm just going to remain skeptical because at this point I have no fucking idea. Now I always say this. I don't really want to feed people shit. People like me, Opti, Charlie, and even Mudaha, the guy who puts esten extensive research into every topic he covers, made videos on this TikTok account and claimed it to actually be EDP. Might not actually be EDP 445, but again, I didn't realize that he had an Instagram that his content could have been reposted from there by someone else. And hell, the pure shout out video did not. Uh, exist on that account. It was just nothing but Super Bowl videos, which was enough for me to believe that it was real. Hell, even uh, Dick said a feel for it. Not that we, they were ever reliable in the first place, but still, now I'm going to apologize for claiming that the EDP for account is, was actually EDP, but I'm going to remain skeptical about both sides because at the end of the day, None of us actually know until EDP or this Pierre person uh, say otherwise and I know I, I might piss a lot of people because it might seem very obvious that the evidence to suggest that the account is fake is right there in front of my eyes but to be honest I need like a solid piece of concrete proof. I'm one of those people I needed to just be right in my face saying hey I'm not real or hey I'm real. That being said, I regret none of my cupcake comments. EDP is still a terrible person and also shout out to Papa God for looking more into this as well and bringing this to people's attention. And also everyone who is watching this video, please do not harass anyone mentioned in this video, even those who enjoy cupcakes because I just don't condone harassment. It's going 
it's gonna attack the sound at the end. I try my absolute best to get the facts straight on the videos, but don't claim to be a news channel if I, in fact, I'm not a news channel. Uh, I just make videos on topics that interest me, but I will try my absolute best to make sure I get accurate information out of all of you and try not to spread as uh, much bullshit in this case. I might have got debated. I really have no idea and I'm not going to promise to get every detail right going forward because I know these mistakes happen will happen every so and often no matter how hard I try to prevent them and yeah that's about it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you won't miss out a video every single day and also follow me on my all of my social link either in the about page or in the description this talk tag will also be in the description below and have a great day everyone and remember that ev might not actually be on tiktok i mean who knows at this moment anyways bye